All right, let's talk Come to on, Joyce. Joyce. Come on, Max. Let's talk over here and give Frank some rest and space. Let's see what she has to say on this whole thing. Joyce. I'm not going to... I lied How to David. I'm not going to tell her the truth I've either, I think. Through the ringer. Where's Chloe? She lost her husband. She lost her husband. I'm not going to su suffer her to go through I'll losing her daughter. Her. Not well. in this storm, you won't. And you're not going out there, Max. I just have to pray that Chloe and David will hold up something. We know David is. I'm sorry about all this, Joyce. Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. <laughs> uh -huh. I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't oh, have control yeah. over anything. That is kind of your fault. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. And if he doesn't always show it. I'm but sorry. Time to apologize, I, I guess. So many problems with David and Chloe. You did the right thing. David overstepped his bounds. I had a suspicion he was taking his private surveillance way too seriously. But he's sorry, and I wish he was here right now. I just he is safe though, in a in a full-on bunker. To be fair. With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. And look at me, I'm trying to keep my family together. And. Max, did I make a mistake kicking David out? Um, I'm yeah. David saved my life. I gotta take David's side From now. The storm. He deserves it. I saw how much he cares about Chloe, even if he couldn't show it. David needs you more than we ever. did. He went and shot a freaking guy for Chloe. Him. I'm so happy David was there for you. He has a lot of weight on his back from the war, but he truly wants to help people. He even agreed to take a family counseling class. You know, after yeah, that's what he told us. He Chloe. I'm sure that was a hard thing for him to do. It shows how much he truly cares about you. You get that Chloe. chance. Nothing so he didn't actually shoot David Jefferson. And Chloe to make peace, not war. But I don't know what to do anymore. I just I just want this storm to blow over forever. Maybe it's time we leave Arcadia Bay. If we can. David is a well, you're not gonna have much of a restaurant choice. anymore, so maybe now is the time. All he wants to do is make you happy. I know he would do anything for you. And Chloe. I know. And yes, he's not William, but that's okay. He's not supposed to be. You we already found out what happens fun. trying to save when he William. Came into my life, I was ready to give up. David's love gave me strength. He even told me I was his hero. I can't give up loving him. I want him to come back home. Oh, I hope I get to tell him that soon. It's kind of dark. Okay. Max, we made our you, peace with everyone. Do you think this is the I think it's time to focus on hey, the picture. Be careful out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think a kiss is entirely appropriate. I know Warren would think it is, but let's just give him a hug. I could use a hug before I do this. Me too. Right. go before I get pathetic and tell you not to. You're not pathetic. You're one of my heroes. We'll come back for you, Warren. And I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. Okay. Please be okay, Chloe. Okay. This is it. Alright, let's see if we can do this. We can save Chloe, we can save Victoria, maybe even save Nathan. We got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. 
<sighs> Chloe! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm <laughs> glad you're with me too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, we were in to Rachel. Let's go. Now Why don't we just Chloe, stop her wait, and tell her? Listen. I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to you're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you and others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit. Nathan is the fucking serial killer. We saw Come the Come on, proof. Chloe. Now, excuse me. I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. No. Coming? Nathan is dead. Nathan is dead. And I mean, he might country. already... Actually, we never did oh, find him at the party, did we? How do you know that? <clears throat> because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Well... Jefferson is in fact a psychopath. He did kill him and Jefferson hurt me. Which one is going to resonate most with her? I think the fact that he hurt me is going to resonate Chloe. most with Chloe. Because she knows that that same thing happened to Jefferson Amber. Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get <clears throat> back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here and I can't lose you again. I won't. You need to listen. Uh, Max, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I. Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. What? No. No. Not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm going to do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is going to turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? <laughs> okay. Um, nothing? Terrible choice. Um. Uh, nothing? Nothing. I mean, whenever I use my rewind, I create new timelines, new destinies. Then you can't be sure of anything. That's why I'm going to take out Jefferson. That will be our reality. No, no. Chloe, hold on. Chloe! Oh. Man. Okay, that she was the right answer. Listen. I better rewind and do over. How far do I have to rewind? Oh. You almost had her, Max. All right. I can still do this. Well, Excuse me, I'm going to that park. Uh, okay. So I think we had our first answers right. So because we'll choose those same one. Okay, so that Je Jefferson hurting me wasn't enough. Jefferson killed him. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan and he killed him. Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! Oh, that wasn't I'm it either. totally strong and honest. She'll listen. Okay. I'm her best friend. That's a little bit of a hint there, so we gotta just completely be straightforward with her. Straightforward. Nathan is, Nathan dead. is dead. That fucker. Because. Will you um. Jefferson is a psychopath? I guess? Mark Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. Um. Let the past go? Don't leave me. Um. 
Let's go, don't leave me. Chloe! I should never have run away from you like I did when we left Arcadia Bay. I know I hurt you. All I ever wanted was to make it up to you. Please don't run away from me. Max, I'm not running from you. This is when I need you the most. This is how to make everything up to me. With your power and my gun, nothing in the universe can stop us now, No. Max. No. Come on, Chloe. Not this way. Chloe. Okay. So we obviously made a mistake somewhere. Maybe. Maybe not yet. Um... Yeah. I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? Are we gonna... I think we're gonna tell her about how I we tried to save her, to her dad. back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And... You, you were in pain. You, you were begged me to kill you. dying, and you... You asked me to... End your life. But Chloe... There was no way I could do that. I had to return to this timeline. To see you again. I had to. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I... I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's... Why you should come with me so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, yeah, I was gonna say, let's just us, tell David. Stop him, right? Like we're two teenagers. Why would Why we try and take him on? You totally reamed him the other day. He's not even at our house anymore. David was ahead of us. David cares about you. Um, what's, he did save me. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you. But well, you were already dead at the I'm time, so. I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Okay. Yes, you are. I think we managed to convince so, her, listen, but... In a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. All right. Now, did we fix things enough, or...? Okay. Okay, it looks like we might be back to where we were. We're gonna end up... Oh, okay. Well. Now I'm down on the beach. Oh, okay. I see that the real Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive, oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. Oh my gosh, Actually, just... Worked. Things have gotten so it. twisted around. Looks like, like I don't know. fate doesn't want us apart. But... And travel through multiple realities just to... But we are on a beach. Over and over and... Staring down a gigantic no, storm. So we have a still have a little bit of a problem. For wanting me out of your life. After all my drama. Come on. 
I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. I'm nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and Okay, caring. we're doing a lot of standing around talking. Nobody. You didn't ask for any I don't even know why we're here in the first did. place. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure. But not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So, without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. Then for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out. We were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. But why? I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You, right, you remember, right, right now? Well, we, we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Why would oh, I say that? Look. The storm is getting bigger now. Why? It's coming closer. The lighthouse? Ugh, I, I can't even. Up on a gigantic this hill? This is how After all the visions you had? Stop it. Is it stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on that. Oh, God, look at that. Look at that monster. We're nowhere Who near, knows? even near that lighthouse right now. I mean, revenge. we're down on the Our beach. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. Oh, maybe it's out of the way of the path, but Chloe. I don't know. Chloe. You're gonna have to carry me, Chloe. Whoa. Oh, goody. Alfred Hitchcock famously called film "little pieces of time." I'm but back in class. Let me guess. Everything that just happened was going to be one gigantic dream. I have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly this is messed up. Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Um. Diane Arbus. Be calm and don't freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. What is that? Hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad what? mothers and children. She saw humanity as what? tortured. What? What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares. There's a bunch of birds. Seriously though, I could frame what one of you in a dark going on? Caption. That is disgusting. Okay, and we're back. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? I don't know. This doesn't make sense. Hopefully you're just like some weird what? I want to die? And what does that say? Rachel Ambler forever? Okay. What is that about? Not yet, you bastard. Max, if you're reading this, it means you're dead. What? That makes absolutely no sense. And what's on the computer? Who's that? Oh, that's too creepy. Oh, that's not the picture. Okay. Oh, that was one of the pictures he took from his dark room. It's obviously not the picture that shows there, but... Um... Okay. And Victoria just left her stuff there. You didn't die, Kate. You're alive. Um, what's all this? Oh, no. Oh, okay. It's a picture of the lighthouse being torn to shreds. The one place we apparently thought would be a good idea. And that's our forest. Rachel didn't deserve any of this. And it's a picture of us finding the body. Well, this is creepy beyond reason. And our poster. I'm not going to take the bait. Everyday zeros. This is like some sort of self depreciating. Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Punch him in the face. Kick him in the nads. Come on. You know you want to. I just wanted to know if 
You'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Okay. Your purity inspires me so much. <sighs> and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? Ugh. There's no way I'm saying that. No way. Wait. All these options. Obviously, you're going to say thanks for killing Chloe. Unless you're not saying it sarcastically. I can't rewind time. I. <laughs> this is kind of like breaking the fourth wall where she's like, oh, no, I'm not going to say that. But it's like, um, I don't have any other options. Thanks for killing Chloe. It's about time somebody finally killed Chloe. No, nope, she's not saying it sarcastically. Think of how often that bitch almost got me killed. It's like you're doing both of us an awesome favor. Chloe can never appreciate you the way I will. Mm. Maxine. And yes, this is making I me upset. I'm calling you Maxine. Forever. And he's gone. Sure. This can't be real. Can I please leave? I don't believe it. Let me leave. And we're in the dorms. Sure. Someone's peeking in. What's all this? I don't know what's with all the candles. Oh, it's Kate. Wait. Is that my room? Hey, Kate. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? What? You never understood me or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone. And that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. You'll be Kate, alive. That's not true. I've always been your friend. Whoa. That is... What? I'm like beyond... Okay. Sure. And... <laughs> okay, I can look at the map. Max Caulfield. I... Okay, I don't know why I'm looking at the map, but... There it is. Oh, okay, we got ourselves a puzzle here. Okay, so this is going to be some sort of puzzle where we got to go through the right doors. Well, okay. I don't know whose door to go through first. Let's I guess we'll go to the end of the hall and go through our own room. Okay, that didn't seem to change anything. Um. Well, I don't know whose door this is. Where's the map? It's all the way at the other end. Let's try this one. See if we get anything different. Hmm. Is it in order of lives we affected? Like, we went through Kate, Kate's door first. I don't know. Is there some sort of hint? Or anything? Let's check our text messages. Why not? Chloe left in which other, in other reality did you think before you bailed on a new life? Not only did you blow off my request, you already jumped into another photo. How many effing times can you abandon me, Epi? Well, that's a bit harsh. I got a text from his dog. <laughs> Do not mess with Frank or me. You got a snack. <laughs> okay, it's a little funny. Max, I loved your photo shoot with Jefferson. He helps. Oh, gross. No. Rachel, what? I'm getting a text from Rachel. Hi, Max. Rachel Lumber here. Just wanted to introduce you. I'll be seeing you soon, real soon. Sam, good evening, young Max. Scrolls talk to me about Samuel has no phone. Well, those are the strangest texts I've ever gotten. Um, I still have no clue. 
which room I'm supposed to go through. Is there any sort of hints? Am I just supposed to go through all of them? And maybe that's the trick. Maybe I'm not supposed to go through any of the dorm room doors. Like, let's just go to the bathroom. Okay. Well, that proves. This hall never ends. I, I better find something. Ah, a key. Was, I heard the voices talking about a key. <laughs> um, two eighteen. Oh, is there a room two eighteen? Give me back It only goes to 219. And there's a whale outside in the parking lot. Okay. What is it? They're like a door between the doors. Two nine. Let's go. Th I guess let's go through a door and maybe 218 will appear when we go through once again. I guess we'll check the map and see what the map says. Where's room 218? Oh, 218 is Dana Ward. Maybe I'm just dumb. Okay. 218. Something changed. Do our clothes change? Do I gotta go find the key again? No. Oh. Posters After everywhere. TV lounge. Vending. Lila D? Rachel Amber. Oh. This was Rachel Amber's room. Well, I hear them talking about Rachel Amber. Maybe that's the right one to go through. Yep. Oh, oh, and now we are Victoria Chase. Well, that's normal. Any sort of hints? Or are we just supposed to go to Victoria's room? 221. Oh, now it's back to Kate Marsh. All right. Uh, either I did that wrong or I did that right. All the walls covered in pictures now. Anything interesting? Okay, well, I'm just going to assume I'm supposed to go through Max's room now. Because it's like her photo wall. Except the entire dorm is her photo wall. So...